Hi everyone, Shannon from Mixed Media Minnesota. So today I wanted to color some tags. And so I grabbed out um, a couple of my delusional ink sprays and some water and some tags. And then I was having so much fun playing with it, I figured, well, I'll just make a video. I mean, you guys can see what I'm doing here. I also um, cut a tag shape out of some old scrapbooking paper and tried that. And then um, I made some tags out of an old book page. And I, this one is sewn around. And um, they're still a little bit wet. And I always forget to put my gloves on, as you can see. I get ink all over myself. But I'm going to set these ones aside. And they're not, they're not quite dry yet. And then maybe we'll decorate them in tomorrow's video. Um, but I was going to show you what I did. So I'm going to remember to put my gloves on this time. So in here is just water and then I have um, poison jade, rose quartz, desert sand, chopped pesto, and slate gray. So those are the colors I grabbed out. Um, I'm looking for, I need a couple tags in earth tones kind of and then a couple tags in Eastery kind of pastel -y looking colors. So we'll just set these ones here aside and we'll start with these. So what I did is I just have my mat here and I just sprayed some water on it. And then I just sprayed a little bit of the ink. And then I just took the tags and I just plop it in there and kind of push it down, wiggle it around a little bit. I picked it up, isn't that neat? And it runs on there and, and you can, then I spray more water on here and I just do the same thing on the back. And I just lay it down and I just kind of smear that around and you see how it gets really dark on the bottom? You can just pick it up, if you can grab it off there. You can pick it up and you can just spray, if you don't want it that dark, spray a little bit of water and it'll run all different directions or you can just spray color if you want color brighter on there. And like on the back here, I'm just gonna add some pink and then I'm gonna spray some water on there just kind of let it run around. And then what I usually do is I just have a towel sitting on the side and then I just flip it open and I set that in there, flip it and then I just push on it. Get all the excess color and water off of there. And then you have, and each one is gonna always be different. Isn't that neat? It'll be fun to decorate. We can sew around it and different kind of things. So I'll just, I have a towel over here. I'm setting one to dry. And then we'll just squirt some more water on here. And maybe a little more pink. Let's add some yellow in this time. And another little tag here. Just gonna push it in there. Flip it over. They stick on there. <laughs> With gloves on, I can't grab them. So you get all different kinds of colors, and if they look grungy and stuff. That's okay. I like them like that too. So then I just put it on the towel, press on it. See that one's kind of the yellow kind of pink mixed and made orange. There's like purples and browns in that one. So that's neat. And then, um, so I did, I did just cut some, like we could turn this into a pocket in a journal. And it's just book page and then I just sew it around it. Which you can do afterwards to actually have this doubled. I um, just glued it with a glue stick and then Cut it out with my um, T2 
tear ruler and then stitched around it. See, the, the front is really dark because my, my colors are all mixing and getting dark and muddy, but I just set it on there. And it's kind of purpley. And then this side is, you know, some color and some not, and I'm okay with that. That's neat. And then I'll probably go back with some, when they're dry, with some gesso and stuff on here. You can always add more ink or whatever you want. So I'll set that over here colors are getting dark here. I'll just wipe them up. I should have some copy paper to wipe that up with. I don't have any right by me right now, but then you can always cut them out later too. We have copy papers dyed. You can color just about anything. And then I was thinking um, maybe making some envelopes, you know, the, the ones with the window in front. So I'm just putting water on here and this time I'm going to try some of the yellow and a little bit of the pesto green. I think this green is gonna be a little darker. We'll see. But the envelopes I was thinking is, um, you know, you put something inside here and then you, you can fold it up and you can make a pocket, a double pocket, and you can have an image inside here. When I do get this wet, this is gonna stick and I don't want it to stick, so I'm just gonna go and I'm just gonna cut that off leaving, you know, like a quarter inch or something so I can still fold it over. Just give me one second here. Okay, so I, I just cut this sticky part off. I don't want it to close when I get it wet because I want to still put something inside of that. So it'll still fold over. So I'm going to try to put a little bit of water on my envelope, just kind of see what happens here. Just kind of push it in there, move that around. yellow is more of a brown looking. This is a grungy looking one. That's my favorite, this grunge. I'm just going to set it on the side. set that aside to dry. Get some more water on there. So this is a tag um, that I just cut out of a 12 by 12 piece of scrapbook paper. So I'm just going to smear that all over and pick up that color. Get some on the back. some green, a little bit more water. Isn't that neat? I think it's so neat. Let's set that one aside. Gonna wipe this all up here. Okay, 
So I'm going to show you how I did the tag on the book page. I can't wait till they're dry and be able to decorate them. I think that'll be fun. So everybody has, you know, pages that you've ripped out of a book, either making an altered book or something. So it's just a book I got from the dollar store. So I don't even know there's probably inappropriate words, but we're going to cover them up anyways. So what I did to make the tag is I just folded it in half, close to half. Not even close. <laughs> Ugh, you guys are struggling here. My hands feel goofy after I take them out of those gloves. Okay. So then what I did is I just took a glue stick and I just run one strip of it up in the inside. Push that down. Okay, and then I just, I want the word, I want words, you know, more words on them. And you could fold your paper the other way and have a shorter, wider tag. And I just, Rip those off. So let's see. And you you could just cut it with a cutter too and have straight edges. That's completely fine and that works as well. So then I'm gonna decide, okay, I think I want this one about like that long. Okay, so then I just cut a corner here, flip it over on the side, make a tag shape. Mine never turn out exactly right, but that's okay. You get the idea. And then I did stitch around it, but we don't have to stitch around it either. Um, I'm going to, that's why I only put the one strip of glue in there, otherwise I would have, you know, glued it better. So that's how I did that. And then um, we'll color this one, and then later on I'll stitch around it. But I think they turned out kind of neat. So... That's how I did that one. And then for on the tags, I was thinking that if we color some of these in the colors that we're gonna be using, then we'll have these, our tag reinforcers for that match. So I'm just gonna cut that in half and I'm gonna put some water down. Let me get my gloves on. So then let's do some green and pink on this one. I'm just gonna rub that around in there. Let's see, is that neat? And then do the same thing. I'm just gonna set it on here and press off the excess water color and set them aside. So that'll be fun because they'll match the tags. Okay, now just to use this up, I'm just gonna spray a little bit more water here and I'll do the one that, the tag that we just did. Just smearing it around again. Set it on the towel, press it off. You can dry these with a heat tool um, as well. I was just making a bunch of them, so I just set them over there to dry. Isn't that neat? Okay, so. 
some water on here and a little bit of the, it's yellow, but it comes out brown, I think. Green. So now I'm just gonna do the same thing with these tag hole reinforcers. There you go. And the more you smear it, you know, you'll get more one color um, if you want it. I like the, that the different ones show. So I just set it down and kind of smeared a little bit. Wipe it off, set it aside to dry. Some more water. I'm gonna need some more water. I'll just color a, a use it up with a tag here. off my gloves they're all green okay I'm gonna do one of the envelopes in the pink I'm gonna cut that off really quick Some more pink here. I do have a couple sets of the um, the spray ink um, in this in the Etsy shop, Mixed Media Minnesota. Um, if you don't have any, you you can use water and food coloring, or I know um, markers. If you take the inside of markers. And, and put them in, in water. There's a lot of YouTube videos out there showing how to make the different colors or the solution that you make for your spray. I know I've used the, um, I think it's fabric dye, that RIT brand. I've used that before. You can kind of do the similar thing with, like if you took some acrylic paint and watered it, you know, sprayed it really well on here. Um, that works. That didn't turn pink, that turned purple and green, but that's okay. That's neat, we'll make a pink one too. Um, yeah, you can you can use a lot of different things. Just, just go on YouTube, you'll find all kinds of stuff on there. So I'm just gonna use pink this time. I wonder what, what the yellow would look like. Maybe, maybe we'll just add some yellow too. Again, I need to cut that off. I should have done that first, but I didn't think of that. Probably gonna be brown. No, that's pink. It's really bright pink.
so we'll set that one aside. And then I was thinking, okay, so maybe we can make um, like lace and and stuff the toppers for on the tags and trim for on our pockets and and journal cards and that kind of thing. And I have tons and tons of white and cream colored lace and sari silk and and fabrics. Um, but I don't I don't have a lot of, a lot of pinks and and that kind of thing. Um, so I was thinking we could try and do some of that. So we'll just add a bunch of water on there. So I'm gonna do pink and green again. And more pink, it's gonna turn purple. That's okay. So so I have sorry, so here I'm gonna cut it in half. So we can do one in the greens as well. Okay, so here we go. Now if we just kind of lay this in here and press it down, we'll pick up that color. And I'm just going to Pop it on a towel here and just kind of push on it. Isn't that neat? Now we have colored toppers and stuff, trim. So I'll set that aside and that can dry. Make a little bit more water on here. Some more pink. Grab some lace trim. A couple different ones here. I'm just cutting them in half so I can make some brown as well. Okay, so. Here we have some trim there, just set that in there. Another kind. Some more lace. So, just gonna smear it around. Put a bunch more water on there. So the fabric absorbs it. it up and smear it around on there. Turn it all purple. <laughs> yeah, it mixes when you're doing this a lot more you have to smear it around and get it all covered. So maybe just did, if I just did pink, but that's okay. It'll get used up. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to press some of the ink out of there, the moisture out of there. We weren't going for purple, but wow, that is a pretty purple. That's pretty. this off. Water. I'm just going to use the yellow this time.
my pity. Okay. Just more water. Now I'm gonna add some of the the chopped pesto. And we're just gonna do that. I'm just trying to pick it all up, smear it around. And it's okay that some of it isn't covered, that's okay. Isn't that a pretty green? Like this is perfect for grungy. Stuff. One day I'm just going to have to color a whole bunch of my trims, that way I have them so I can never find what color I'm looking for. Isn't that neat? So that's what I was working on today. I'm going to make a bunch more of them um, and then I'll, when they're dry, maybe I'll sew around them and then We'll decorate them maybe in tomorrow's video. So I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you find something and give it a try. You can color anything, fabrics, book pages, tags, um, fabric, anything. So give it a try and you can use almost anything to color it with. So I hope you all have a wonderful day. I also wanted to mention that today is my mom's birthday so you want to say hi, Lori, happy birthday. We won't tell them how old you are. I know, you're still 39, right? Happy birthday. Thank you guys for watching.